Alright, imagine this. One night you go to bed and when you wake up, every drop of water on Earth is gone. Not just the water in your glass or the puddles outside, but every single molecule of H2O has vanished from the planet. It's not a drought, it's not a shortage, this is total, absolute disappearance. The world as you know it has changed in the blink of an eye. Yep, oceans, gone. Rivers, lakes, even that glass of water on your nightstand, vanished. The world you wake up to is unrecognizable. The mighty oceans that once covered most of our planet are now just vast, empty basins of cracked mud and salt. Rivers are nothing but winding scars in the earth, and lakes are hollow bowls collecting dust. The landscape is eerily silent, stripped of its familiar sounds. So, what happens next? Let's start with the most obvious. You're thirsty, your mouth feels dry, your throat is scratchy, and you instinctively reach for a drink. But there's nothing, not a single drop anywhere. Panic starts to creep in as you realize the situation is far worse than you first thought. But now there's literally nothing to drink. Not a drop. The taps are dry, bottles are empty, and even the air feels different, less humid, more oppressive. You start to realize just how much you depend on water for even the simplest things. Brushing your teeth, washing your face, making coffee, all impossible now. Within 24 hours you're feeling dizzy, tired, maybe a little panicky, because humans can only survive about three days without water. Your body is already sending out distress signals. Headaches, confusion, and a pounding heart are just the beginning. Every cell in your body is screaming for hydration. The sense of urgency grows with every passing hour. But it gets weirder. Plants wilt almost instantly. No water, no photosynthesis. The green world around you fades to brown in a matter of hours. House plants droop, gardens shrivel, and entire forests begin to die before your eyes. Without water, plants can't make food or release oxygen. The lush scenery you once took for granted is disappearing fast. That means our oxygen supply is suddenly at risk. With photosynthesis grinding to a halt, the air you breathe becomes thinner, and every breath feels a little more desperate. The balance that kept our atmosphere stable is gone. Breathing becomes a conscious effort and you start to notice the difference with every inhale. By the end of day one crops are dead, forests start browning and the air feels a little heavier. And not in a good way. The world is quieter too. No rustling leaves, no babbling brooks. Just an eerie silence and the crackle of dry earth. The absence of life is almost deafening. Animals? They're in the same boat as us. Every creature, from the tiniest insect to the largest mammal, is suddenly in a fight for survival. Water holes are empty, and the search for moisture becomes frantic. The animal kingdom is thrown into chaos with desperate migrations and confusion everywhere. Birds can't drink or bathe, mammals are parched, and aquatic creatures? Well, they're already gone. Fish, amphibians, and all the life that depended on water vanish almost instantly, leaving behind only empty shells and bones. The loss is immediate and irreversible. The food chain collapses overnight. Predators can't hunt, prey can't hide, and the delicate web of life that connects every living thing on Earth unravels in a matter of hours. The interconnectedness of nature is exposed as everything falls apart. Now think bigger. With no oceans, weather goes off the rails, the water cycle, the engine that drives our climate has stopped. There's no evaporation, no condensation, no precipitation. The sky is empty, and the land is exposed to the full force of the sun. Weather patterns as we know them cease to exist. No more rainfall, no more clouds, the sky is a relentless, cloudless blue by day, and at night the stars shine with a harsh clarity. The ground below is cracked and lifeless, baking under the sun and freezing in the darkness. The extremes of temperature become the new normal. The planet heats up by day and freezes by night because there's nothing to regulate the temperature. Storms? Forget it. The gentle rain, the cooling breeze, even the threat of a thunderstorm? Gone. Instead you get wild temperature swings and a world that feels alien and hostile. The environment is unforgiving and survival becomes nearly impossible. But dust storms? Get ready for a lot of those. With no moisture to hold the soil together, winds whip up massive clouds of dust, turning the air gritty and choking. Visibility drops and breathing becomes even harder. The world is shrouded in a haze of dust and despair. By day three, things are desperate. People are searching for any sign of moisture digging in the dirt, licking dew from windows, even trying to extract water from food, but it's not enough. The human body is shutting down and hope is fading fast. Communities break down as people become more desperate. Your mouth feels like sandpaper, your skin is dry and cracking and your organs are struggling to keep up. Dehydration is relentless, your blood thickens, your kidneys fail, 
and your body temperature spirals out of control, every system in your body is pushed to its absolute limit. Most people wouldn't make it to day four. The world's population would plummet, and civilization as we know it would collapse in a matter of days. The cities would empty, and the countryside would be silent. The end comes quickly and quietly. So next time you turn on the tap, remember, water isn't just a drink, it's the reason you're alive. It's the foundation of every ecosystem, every community, every moment of your day. It's the invisible force that keeps our planet vibrant and alive. Every living thing, from the smallest microbe to the tallest tree, depends on it. Without it, Earth would be an empty dusty rock, spinning alone in space. No blue oceans, no green forests, no life, just a silent barren world drifting through the void. The beauty and diversity of our planet would be lost forever. Stay curious, stay hydrated, and trust me, don't take water for granted. Every drop is precious, and every glass is a reminder of just how lucky we are to live on a planet where water still flows. Cherish it, protect it, and never forget its true value.